This is the plaintiff, Laquita Taylor. She says this is very hard for her today because the defendant's her daughter. But the girl owes her money and she's here to teach her a lesson. They moved in together. Her daughter owes her for furniture, food, rent, a refrigerator, and moving costs to the tune of $5,000. And daughter or no daughter, she wants our money. That's why she's suing. This is the defendant, Crystal Taylor. She says she's always had to help her mother due to her criminal history and lack of credit. And now the woman's turning on her and suing her own daughter? Despicable, simply despicable. Bottom line, the woman's toxic. That's why she ran away from home when she was 17. She tried to reconnect and help her out, and now this is the thanks she gets, a $5,000 lawsuit? She thinks the judge will see right through her mother, and hopefully this will put an end to things once and for all. She's accused of letting a mom down. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,100 for pain and suffering. All parties, please use your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Lakita Taylor, you are suing uh, your daughter, Crystal Taylor, for $5,000 in damages that you say she owes you because she kicked you out of her apartment. Um, tell me what happened here. What happened was me and my daughter decided um, a, year, a year ago that when our lease was up that we was going to moving together, get a bigger house. We can live comfortable with me and her and her child and my daughter. And, um... Is your daughter, your daughter is her full sister, half-sister? Yes. Okay, well, go we ahead. Have the same father, yeah. Well, anyway, when we moved in, we decided to move in last year, two, I mean, 2018. What month? Um, that was April, April 2000. Whose name is on the lease? Her name was on the lease. She went just out, hers? Just hers. Hers okay. and her son. We did agree that she didn't like my two daughter-in-laws and that she didn't want the grandchildren. They couldn't come over and visit. It was certain grandchildren could. So when um, she decided like a couple of months into us living in the house. Mom, were you paying rent? Yes, I was. How much rent were you paying? I started out at 500 on the rent. And half on the lights. And half the lights? And half of the and lights. And then you said it started off that way. What did it end up? What, when did it change and why? I want to say June or July, um, I got engaged. And um, so my fiance, he came and moved in. Then the agreement was um, I would have to pay half rent. We would have to split the rent down the middle. So okay. now it went up to what? It was um, six seventy five. And were you paying that? Yes, ma'am, with okay. half of the lights. And then what happened? Then... Um, at some point, she got mad at you and decided that you needed to go. When was that? Well, um, the incident happened on September the 3rd or the 4th. Um, one of my daughter-in-law called Crystal and told her that she had been to the house to pick up, her grand pick up my, my grandchildren, and she was upset about it. And she came in and she went to raving at me and arguing at me about it. And I apologized. And I told her, girl, I'm sorry. You know, the headlights on the car had to went out. OK, I'm not understanding. This is the daughter-in-law who she had previously told you as a condition of you moving in that that daughter-in-law couldn't come? So how was that? Why was that daughter-in-law calling her to tell her, hey, hey, I was in your house? Like, that's because so weird. Because I told my daughter-in-law that I was no longer going to keep the kids anymore because she wanted me to raise them. And these are children who she didn't even know you were caring for? No, Crystal knew. She gave me the okay that the kids could come there to the house. Did you give her the okay no. that the kids could no, come? No, no. She so turned my didn't... house into a daycare. And what's your drama. hatred of your sister-in-law based on, can you tell me in a nutshell, or? We, we don't, it's, we, I don't have a problem with her. It's just the drama with my brothers and my siblings. You know, the marriage stuff. I don't want it to my house. I don't want a part of it. Okay. At all. All right, so she finds out, and then she tells you in the beginning of September you need to go? Yeah, she started, well, you, you betrayed me. Um, you did the disrespect. The disrespect had got just too far. So she tells me, you, you know, you got to get the 
not my house. I don't want you here. So um, she, the lights was on in my name, right? How old? Is this your other daughter? That's my baby daughter. And your baby daughter's how old? She's 15. Okay. And do you have a good relationship with her? Yes, I have. A, she, you know, I'm 29, so she's 15, so we don't have anything no, in common, know, so know. he doesn't but, really, you know. Yeah, like, she's my little sister. But when you're putting her out, are you worried about the 15-year-old? Yeah, the thing about it was, it was, our, it was agreed. It was agreed because of the toxic things that was coming to my house. Because the death threats that she was sending to me, my mother Your and my mother aunt. was sending death threats? Yes, she was. Do you have those death threats? I do. Let me see them. This is While you're um, looking for that, I, I'd like to see the death threats you're talking about. While you're looking for that, did you make death threats? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. But, Yana, before all this happened, I got an apartment in my Hold name on. for her. Hold on one second. You are only living because of Liz. Who's Liz? Her daughter. So keep blanking with me and see what happened. Okay, so okay. you tell her she has to go. When do you tell her that? I've been, I told, um, no, I, been, I actually told her to go before. I told her in August. To leave. What, when because in she August was turning did my house into a day, daycare. When did you tell her in August? August, like, 20th or something like that. Okay. Like, basically, because it was only supposed to be temporary. She didn't give me any money. She didn't give me anything. Should she ever pay rent? No, she never gave me anything. I was helping her. Do you have any proof that she's lying about never receiving rent from you? In other words, do you have any receipts for rent? Do you have any canceled checks? Do you have any money orders? Do you have anything that would prove that you were paying rent? No, ma'am. What I do have is that she talks to... Were you working? I was... No, I was not How working. How were you supporting yourself? I was getting SSI for my two daughters. Okay, but do you have any... Uh, how would you pay the rent? I would pay the money, the rent out of the money that I was right, getting. Right, so how her. would you pay the rent? I would give her cash. cash. I would give and her cash. And you never once got a receipt for it? I never once. We, me and Gail, never had an issue, never had problems. Okay, well, we have a problem now. According to you, you paid 350 for the move-in deposit. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, did she pay 350 for a move-in deposit? No, ma'am. She did not pay 300 <gasps> Did she pay anything? My, no, she didn't give me anything. My deposit was $3,000. Okay, did what she pay any of it? What can $300 do for my deposit? Did she pay any of it? She didn't give me anything. Okay. Do you have proof that you paid 350 for a move-in deposit? I that. gave her the money. Okay, no. Let me tell you something. Your tears do not persuade me one bit. No one's it's tears. About no, 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 no. Let me tell you how this works. I don't work in tears. I don't work in drama. I work in proof. All I need for you to show me now, and you will get your 350, is proof that you paid her the 350. She is denying that you paid her the 350. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. all I want from you is proof that you gave it to your daughter. Oh, your Honor, I don't Do you have, have any proof? I don't have it. I okay. gave her the money. So you have no proof of the move-in deposit. Yeah. Property damage, end tables, lamps, and cleaning supplies, $450. Let's talk about that. What are you suing for there? Okay, that's where she was taking my stuff. After the police said it was a civil matter. Because, wait, so the police were called by whom? Me. Because why? She was tearing up my furniture. Okay, so you called the police on her because she was tearing up your furniture. How was she tearing up your furniture? She was taking and dragging it from the loft downstairs, and I was begging her to stop. Don't tear up my stuff. Please stop. Okay, do you have... You have a recording you want me to listen to, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I don't hear her destroying your stuff. I hear you screaming, leave my stuff alone. What is it she was doing? Your, your Honor, after the 911 call here, you can hear her tearing up my stuff, and I'm begging. Okay. I have to be honest with you, it sounds like you're dragging out stuff, what was going on there. We was moving that day. She had been, okay, she called the police seven times to the house. They told her to stop calling. Okay, what is the day of this phone call? 918, the same as the police okay, report. Okay, you, so you're saying you were moving that day. We was moving out that day. We was moving out that day. As you see in the U-Haul um, thing that she so got. So you she didn't got want her stuff to stay, because Elise is in your name. Okay, did you end up leaving? I end up leaving. When did to. you end up leaving? 
I finally got uh, my body. I left, didn't sleep there anymore after the 21st of okay. September. Okay, how about your stuff? When All you my stuff, the last day was the 20, September the 25th. Okay, the do you have any fifth. pictures of property damage to your end tables, lamps, and cleaning supplies? Ma'am, no ma'am. I don't have, I don't okay, have the Okay, the next thing you're suing for are the moving costs, $366.60 for U-Haul gas tapes and boxes. I'm kind of, I'd just like to see proof that you even paid that. Do you have that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. This is $24.43. Judge, can I speak, please? Just a moment. This is a storage unit. Why would she have to pay for your storage units? Yeah, the storage, so I had to go and get a storage to put my stuff in okay. because when I moved right, with my yes, daughter, go ahead. If, if she... Then why would she get the storage 95? Did you see the date 95? She did. got the storage 95. You already knew we was preparing to leave. She got the storage 95. So how how not nine? You have a counterclaim against her for one thousand one hundred dollars for pain and suffering. You oh by the way you also have a claim for pain and suffering. I assume we've gone over it in order to bring you to the five thousand dollar maximum. You have a counterclaim against her and we haven't talked about it yes, for eleven hundred dollars for pain and suffering. Go ahead. Due to that she went on social media to to torment me. She reached out to my ex-boyfriend's girlfriends to try to attack me. Look, I, I have no Just words please. to describe how depressing I find Just this whole thing. No, we're, no, everybody stop talking. I'm going to talk now. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Would you sue your daughter if your daughter stiffed you to the tune, say, of $5,000? No. Why? <laughs> I just wouldn't lend her any more money, but I would probably... Not sue her. Learn Not sue her, yeah. Huh? I wouldn't sue her either. I would just say she learned her lesson and called it a day. Okay, I can tell this is going to be a hard <laughs> one. What do you say? No. Okay. Aww. What if it was $10,000? Nope. What if it was $100,000? Nope. Do you hear what permission wow. you've just been given? Yes. And what, le <laughs> and what lesson have you learned from this? I've learned that don't... <laughs> no, I'm not going to sniff my dad. <laughs> the person I feel the worst for is you. You are 15 years old, and you shouldn't have to sit through any of this. And I am very sorry that you're having to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, you know, whatever problems you have with your mother, I hope that at some point your relationship with your sister, especially when she grows up a little more. I pray and, to have a relationship with her, you know. Okay, and I, I hope so. I do. I want a relationship with my sister, but she keeps her away. So I, I understand, but she's 15 now, and that, right. maybe that's not possible yeah. now. But... And I won't be there three years from now to know what you yes, do. Yes, but I'm just telling you that I hope that there is at some point something in you that says, I want to reach out to my little sister, and that you do reach out to your sister. But in any yes, event, all right, I have one issue in front of me. And the issue is, has the plaintiff who's filed this lawsuit proven uh, by a preponderance of the evidence that she is entitled to $5,000 in moving costs and all these things that we're talking about? Um, and I find that she has not. Um, you, there are things you aren't even legally entitled to sue for, like, you made me move, so now you have to pay my storage. No. Um, you have no legal right to stay there longer than that, so why would I have to pay your storage? At some point, you're going to need the storage. She still resides there, okay. Yana. She still resides in um, the house. Things like, uh, I want my move-in deposit house. and I want my rent. You're not able to prove by any receipt or anything <laughs> that you paid the move-in deposit. <laughs> Um, the pain and suffering, I'm sure both sides can prove a lot of pain and suffering, but not the kind that would be compensable. On your counterclaim for pain and suffering, I know you just filed that because she filed it against you, and um, I'm no, not going to order her to pay you. I, I did. And, uh, we're not, not, no. I was we're, suffering, y'all. Yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> I was and suffering. And you know what? It's not funny. It really I, isn't. No, I'm not. I was. No, but it isn't. It isn't. And I want you to understand that, because no matter what, you move on your merry way, but your little sister doesn't. So right? none of it is funny. Mm -hmm. None of it is merits a laugh or a ha-ha, I got you. You understand? On I your lawsuit against her, zero. On her lawsuit against you, also zero. And I wish you all the best I can't of luck. You, Your Honor, she's still in the house. How she, she's still living there. You lied to her. And she did not do her work in listening to this case. You wrong. You lied. You still reside in that house to this day. <laughs> she do. She do. <laughs> She didn't listen. She didn't even look at my police report. Crystal still resides. That's how she got these papers to come to court. 
That's how she got contacted in Jacksonville, because she still resided in that house, and she did this to me. She did this to me. I want the world to know she did this to me. You've said that. We understand, okay? <laughs> As the judge says, we wish you luck, okay? okay thank I, you. I hope you can work thank it out. You. All right. You did this to me. Well, as you can see, the plaintiff is really, really upset. Here comes the defendant, Crystal Taylor. Yes. Crystal, she's having a little fit out here. Yeah, she is having a fit, yeah. <laughs> she told 5,000 lies. I helped my mother. What happens now? We've heard all this. I'm going on with my life, living my life, you know, and I'm fine. Well, I hope you work it out with your sister, your little sister. Yes, I do, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. try. Yeah. The judge. Hopes right. So. I do. I hope I do work it out my sister, too. All you right. know. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Right. Sorry. Uh -huh. Well, what a family problem. Yeah, you know, Doug, I got to say, that's the least of the problems in this case. But look, when you pay rent, you got to get some kind of receipt. Either do it by check, but get some kind of a hard copy of a receipt uh, before the money changes hands. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.